and welcome everybody in Twitch chat and also on YouTube in the future for our next deck, Naya Legends. This is one of my favorite decks to play because there's just so many sweet cards in the deck. You know, we basically have two of like everything for the most part because um, it just kind of has, you know, like the like what happens with this deck, like the games aren't the same. I guess that's what I'm trying to say is that all the games are kind of different. You know, you don't have like four of a lot of cards where you're like doing the same curve all the time. No, all these games are different. Um so the reason why we have all of these legendary creatures and planeswalkers in this deck is to facilitate our legendary sorceries. So we have two Urza's Ruinous Blasts in the main, which a couple, with a couple more in the sideboard. And we have two Kamal's Druidic Vow. And these two cards are really, really, really powerful when you can enable them. And that's what our deck's built around, is enabling these. So there we go. Let's uh let's try this out. We we played this one other time, and uh, since RNA came out, and it, it felt really good with adding stopping grounds. I'm not sure. I'm not sure if I need these rhythm of the wilds, but we got them in here. We'll see. Maybe those uh, should be replaced with something else. But for now, we got some rhythms. All right, let's go ahead and try Naya Legends. Using the black legendary sorcery, yeah, um, I have a, I had a Grixis Legends deck that I haven't played since the uh, the new set, but the my Grixis Legends deck was built around the black legendary sorcery, um, with Yagmoth's Vile Offering, and that was really nice because Yagmoth's Vile Offering is, you know, just is really powerful, especially if you're. Like, it had, like, some things like Charter Course where it could, like, discard, like, your Niv-Mizzet and put Niv-Mizzet into play. I really liked it. Yeah, and Angel of Grace is not a, a legend either. So that's that's the other... We already have millions of five drops, and also Angel of Grace is not a legend. So you don't really want to play cards that are not legends in the deck because of Urza's Ruinous Blast exiling all non-legendary permanents. I don't really like this hand, and honestly, this... This maybe should just be a mulligan. This probably should just be a mulligan. Alright, well. Deck didn't help us out of the land drops. I have 26 lands in the deck. I added in a, a 26 land since last time we played it, we played 25 and got stuck on lands quite a bit. And so I actually added in a 26th here. <laughs> yeah, flips. The, the legend decks are so much fun. <laughs> Alright, so a quench. Well, you don't expect to only draw spells in your 26 land deck. We got 24 more lands in there. But this one's probably... Probably over. Oh, I don't even have two. I don't even have two green. What am I doing? Just shocked for no reason. I was just gonna cast this Druidic Vow for one and just see if the top card's a land and put it into play if it was a land. Just not a, a good spell. I I played Mox Opal in this deck for the longest, um, and. And over, you know, tried tried to make it work for the longest, but there's just so many times where Mox Opal is just a dead card. All right, well that was a bad keep by me, and our deck didn't help us at all. All right, let's get some more of these legendary sorceries in. Lyra still good. Uh, Coil is nice. Um, coming on out is going to be Rada. I don't like how Shalai matches up. Uh, Tristani, because we, we need to cut some fives. And I think Huatli. Yeah. yeah. I don't really like how Shalai matches up against Drake's. But I do like 
Shalai protecting other things, specifically Lyra. Hey, Eddie. Yep. Blast is the best payoff for our legendary deck, for sure. And so we had two in the main, so we're gonna, we're putting in another two here. Um, Aurelia doesn't block either. The, Shalai and, Lear, and Aurelia don't block very well, but Aurelia is hard to kill. Which so like these these things are good good uh, legends to have before blast. Maybe take out a a Lannery Storm or a Tajik that that just died a shock. I guess Tajik Shalai is a is a really nice combo. Which that's actually a combo that I, I think I need to just kind of play more in general. Just kind of have like Tajik Shalai. Because against burn burn decks, like none of their like, like ex example against this is it Drake's. If you have a Tajik and a Shalai in play they can't kill any of your creatures. Lava Coils, Beacon Bolts do nothing. So I, I feel like that's something that I just haven't explored enough of playing Tajik and Shalai. Against red decks, they can't do a, a single thing. Like, none of, like they can't even, you can't even burn spell upstairs because Shalai, Shalai protects everything else and Tajik protects Shalai. Yeah, it's a, it's a pretty... Pretty crazy combo that I need. I think I need to explore some more. Hey, what's up, Mr. Previously? Hopefully, this time we can draw some lands. Really want to draw a red source here. Yeah, we went 5 0 in the popper event um, with the petitioner's deck. There's a red source. Squee! That's probably a card they don't care to shock. Yeah, first match in Nia Legends. We lost the first one, uh, so we're in game two here. I want my opponent to to tap out for another another threat. Like I want them to play like a, a crackling Drake next turn, or something like that. You know, I want to be able to exile multiple threats with Urza's Ruinous Blast, and of course, I want Urza's Ruinous Blast to resolve as well. Enigma Drake. Enigma Drake. Ugh. <sighs> Spell Pierce is such a good card. I don't I don't think we've seen a spell pierce yet, no. Alright. Got rid of those Terramanders. The, the problem is, die, if it is dive down, that's still not very good for us with our cards in hand. You know, dive down is still going to be pretty good against us. But Urza's Ruinous Blast was certainly quite strong there. Um, 
Now do I play Vivian into a, another potential quench? I guess that answer is no. And good old Squee here, just gonna keep on attacking for two. We hope our opponent just has a lot of removal in hand. I'm waiting on um, Rakdos Goblins. Um, for the person that donated for that. Um, so that, that may be tomorrow, because the person that donated for that is not here in the chat. Every fight makes me stronger. Okay. So there goes the dive down. So Vivian uh, trades with the dive down and gains again. us 8 life. Stop having all these charter courses. Draw so many cards. We'll try the same thing. Hope they don't have another dive down. They haven't had like any red spells. They have one shock. So I'm hoping they have like more of those kind of spells in their hand, like lava coil, shock, stuff like that. Wild animals I like. People, not so much. Why aren't you instant, an instant lava coil? Ugh. Alright, we have been defeated. Opponent's hand matched up really well against ours. And we only really played one game there. I, I just threw away the first game with my keep. Keeping a two lander and, you know, never drawing another land. We just didn't do anything the first game. Thanks, Lion Tamer. Alright, I like our opener. Yeah, they, they drew a lot of cards with those charter courses. Worked out really well for them. <laughs> yeah, we we were defeated at the dungeon's door. Yeah, first first uh, trial. Already defeated. We look like a mono red deck here. So much red. So much red on the battlefield everywhere. Well, we have one half of the Sh Tajik Shalai combo. If we just draw Shalai, we kind of win. They really just used all their burn spells uh, really quickly. Now we just have a 3-4 that matches up. Well, that's a great draw. 
So this is all non-combat damage. Okay. Well, that was a waste. This is a league. All right, down to two. Got to find Shalai. Well, Lyra's pretty good too. I guess we'll just play Lyra. I could like, I could Druidic Vow for four or even I can attack with, like, Grand Warlord Rada and make it five and just Druidic Val for five and just see if we have Shalai in the top five cards. Because if we have Shalai in the top five cards, we automatically win. Ugh. I guess not automatically. We need, like, one other creature. Or I just play Dawnbringer. And then if they draw a burn spell, I'm dead. But if they don't, I win. I guess this is just safer. So they draw a burn spell, I lose. If they don't, I win. They've already had four burn spells. Whew. Thankfully, Skewer the Critics cost too much. That was so close. Hey, Nerd Girl. I was so close. Yeah, they would have saved their one drop. Yeah, they didn't. They activated it when they didn't need to. All right, so we can uh, vow for one, two, three, four, five, six. I guess it's possible my opponent still kills me because this puts me down to six, and then that puts me down to three. So if I whiff on this vow, if I whiff here, they can still kill me. They draw a three damage burn spell. Nope, not a whiff. That was just a, a really good vow. We'll just take all of these, thank you. Let's tear action. this place apart. Man, that card is so Some good. Solutions must be built. Come to me. We played a we played a Millgates. Um, we we did play a Millgates deck, best of three. Oh, a few a few days ago, I didn't like it at all. Man, Druidic Vow is awesome. All right, we got Shalai, another Lyra, some Clarions for some damage and lifelink, Knight of Autumn for some lifelink, a Tristani. I'm going to take out Blast. Watley is lifelink. Take out a Vivian. Weatherlight. All right, this is 65. Lannery Storm is out. This is 63. 62. I mean, Sean has to say his legacy is not very good. Now there's Lanor Elf. But now there's Karn. Uh, 
All right, let's try this. We did get the, the perfect combo in against them, though, um, with Shalai and Tajik, where none of their cards do anything anymore. They can only attack. Yeah, Naya Legends hype. Hmm. Guess I'm going to keep this. Speed is certainly important in this matchup. And so I like having turn one Llanowar Elf, and I like having good mana. Uh, we have, you know, just a, a ton of really good, important four and five mana cards to draw into, and so um, this helps it out. I, I'm probably not going to play Shauna next turn. I'd ha I have to shock, because I can't go Clifftop Retreat, so I have to shock to play Shauna. I don't think I'm going to do that. I don't know. I'm definitely not doing that. At least their hand hasn't been too good. That's not a great start for them. The problem with Shauna and Land Warolf here is uh, Goblin Chain Whirler. Chain Whirler will kill Shauna and Land Warolf. So I think I'm actually just going to wait on the Shauna. I don't think I played into a, a Chain Whirler. And especially they have Clarion to like clean up the creatures. So, good call. I don't want to play Shalai. So, if I play Shalai there and then they have Lava Coil for Shalai, they get hit me for five. I just don't think that that's a, wor a risk worth taking. I think just getting those creatures out of here so they cannot hit me for five is the best option. There is, of course, like the downside that they just have a whole lot more creatures in their hand, and then I didn't get to kill them all. Um, Alright, if they don't kill my Tajik. Hey, what's up, Matthew? Alright, so we... Um, I wanted to see if you were going to be here today before the playing the Goblin deck. Um, so yeah, we'll get... If you're going to be here today, then we'll get to the Goblin deck. Don't kill Tajik, please. Don't kill Tajik. No. Never lucky. I'm sorry to hear that, Tiki Jiki. Sounds awful. Just. Just sit on back, watch the stream. You can't expect everybody else to play perfect when you're playing a game like poker. You know, that's something you can't control. You can only control what you can. Being upset at the whims of other people. Can't do anything about that. Um... 
I'm not gonna block the Chain Whirler with Shalai and let a three damage burn spell kill the Shalai uh, this turn. So I'm just gonna go ahead and let the Chain Whirler hit me because we don't have to be worried about them having burn spells that kill us because of Shalai. So I can put them down to one, but Shalai is gonna be lethal next turn anyway. So no, no real reason to to attack with the land we're off and put them down to one. Like there's no difference between one and five when we have a six seven. Oh, huh. I guess that's a that's a thing. Huh. So I guess that's my fault for activating the Shalai there. I should just I should have just attacked them for five. If I just didn't activate the Shalai, we win there. So that's my bad for activating. I didn't exactly have that on my radar. The cards don't show up in your deck or library. That's weird, F fun slinger. Maybe you have like some setting turned on or something. <laughs> yeah, that's that's true. Yeah, I remember that, uh, Stevo. Um, and remember, like my first thing I said about that card is like, well, we can't play this card. Let's get this card out of here. Yeah, Sleeper, um, towards the end of last year, I think they changed that where Amazon Prime members see ads and stuff now. The second one, Romeo, this is a deck that I've tuned. This is All the Legends decks are decks that I've made every time I'm playing a Legends deck. Talba Stompy, and the cards disappear. Huh. That's weird. Squee! With how our opponent used a fan Fanatical Firebrand last turn on the Land War Elf, I'm not expecting a Chain Whirler this turn. But you never know. I wanted to make sure Matthew was here before I played the Goblins deck. What did they do? They shocked the Squee? That's rude. So do I play Aurelia or just play Squee Lanawar? Yeah, same deck as the last time with the four color discard, yeah. Um, this is what Ugh. That was worst case scenario. Um, this is where you can see all my decks on Stream Decker. It's not really sorted too well or anything, um, but that's that's what I have is the Stream Decker page there. Um, a lot of the Legends decks. This is this is about the only Legends deck I've played since RNA came out. Um, RNA didn't really add too much to the Legends decks overall. Yeah, we have a Weatherlight in the deck. 
Yeah, Chain Roller was the worst case scenario for us that last turn. I, I regret not playing Aurelia. Yeah, that's kind of whatever. So we'll stay at 9. I mean, they may have more active treasons, you never know. That was a perfect draw step. That was a perfect draw step. Gives it really a lifelink, so... Six power, lifelink in the air. There we go. Even Act of Treason doesn't, doesn't affect us. Hey, what's up, Boot? Lyra saved the day. Kind of both of those games. Game one... We drew the Lyra right in time when we were at like three, um, or we were at two, and then that time we were at three. I drew the Lyra right in time. Both of those, both those games. Slower hand. But powerful. Sure, I'll keep Aurelia. That's something to do a, a turn earlier. Yep, new week. Get those three packs. Yep, every Sunday. Get your three packs on Arena. Get your 15 wins. Yeah, I haven't. I've never played an Arcades wall deck. That's certainly something that I could see playing. Uh, I was hoping we we're going to be playing against a more aggressive deck with having the Aurelia into Lyra curve. Jeskai control. Um, Aurelia and Lyra are both not not very good against Jeskai control because of uh, being easy to answer. But oh well. Um, I have every card to play this deck except Huatli. What would you recommend I use in place of her? A third card, a Domri. Um, yeah, basically dealer's choice, uh, Jelly Tug. You can kind of just kind of play whatever you want. Um, I think maybe another Tristani would be good. Um, Tristani's, real, you know, just a, a good strong card, but you could also go ahead and just throw in. You'd also just go ahead and, and you know, throw in a Domri and try Domri out. Um, you can play something a little cheaper as well. It's kind of dealer's choice. Well, CLA doesn't do a whole lot there. You don't want non-legendary cards. You can play a Jaya's Immolating Inferno if you want. All right, so control. So I got these rhythms. I guess Knight of Autumn, if they're enchantment heavy. I guess if they're enchantment heavy, I can just keep Urza's Ruinous Blast in. So I kind of don't have anything here. So if I'm playing Urza's Ruinous Blast, I don't want... Don't really want Rhythm of the Wild. Nah, Blast is expensive. Let's get some Night of Autumns in. Maybe just do that. And then, yeah, then Rhythm. So Rhythm and Night of Autumn. 
Um, so this is 63. And I get rid of a Lyra, a Shauna, and an Aurelia. I'm not sure if I need all three Knight of Autumns. Let's go two Knight of Autumn, two Aurelia. Kind of like Aurelia. Um, the boost Aurelia can give to make like an attack bigger against like a Teferi or something like that. Uh, no, that's that probably doesn't. No, I, I that seal away played. Wouldn't really happen in uh, paper. Honestly, I'm, I'm the kind of person that's pretty nice about that, too. Um, like, my opponent would play the seal away there. I would just tell him it doesn't do anything and let him pick him pick it back up. I'm, I'm pr pretty nice about that. No, I wanted to pay two life. I guess I clicked the wrong thing. Well, we don't get... Captain Lannery storm this turn. Hmm. I didn't want to play it into syncopate with Shalai. But I'm, I'm expecting a deafening clarion here. No Clarion, huh? Just gonna be Cleansing Nova, I guess. See, I don't mind playing Shalai out here because it does not die to Clarion. Hmm. A lot of damage. Yeah, so I think we have lethal here. Our opponent's going to need like justice strike. Um, which is pretty unlikely. Because we'll use, we'll still get Shalai back, have Shalai be able to protect Captain Lannery Storm and Land of War Elf, so they can't seal away either of these. That's seven power right there. We get a new treasure. We sack the treasure to make it eight power. So that's, that's eight. And they're at eight. And there we go. Ooh, we got 40 gems. Two and one. We're on the draw. Let's keep this. Lannery Storm's a good good card. Yeah. We can draw some green mana. We got a lot of green mana. Yeah, we have been getting gems as a reward pretty often. That's true. Well, no. Like, Soul Farmer's just saying, like, with the, the daily reward that's supposed to be an uncommon, we, we get, like, the rares are un rares or mythics pretty often Su surprisingly often
Alright, so as per control. So of course our, our planeswalkers are our best cards here. I want to be able to keep collecting these treasures up where I can maybe double spell. I guess we're going to need a lot of treasures for that. Oh, or have our opponent tap out. Tapping out's good. Get this Vivian in. We still have the two mana to pay for a spell pierce. In case our opponent randomly has a spell pierce in their deck. All right, three lands at the bottom. I'm no hurry. I'm no hurry. Pretty surprised that works. You can't stop nature. Hmm. Pretty surprised that worked too. I mean, so. You know, this definitely just seems like this is just going to be Kai's Wrath, but we get Teferi off the battlefield. This is hardly my worst and that's that's certainly worth getting these other cards out there to get Teferi off the battlefield. Alright. Bone didn't have another way to deal with Vivian. I liked how Shalai protected the, the Lantern Storm and stuff. I just honestly wasn't too worried about Kaya's Wrath at that point of the game. Alright, so just Rhythm. Putting in Rhythm, taking out Blast. Um, I think that's it. I guess Tristani's probably better than Lyra. Just in general. Is the third Tristani better than the second Lyra? Yeah, probably. Because Urza doesn't get rid of any of their permanents. Doesn't get rid of. I mean, it can, can, doesn't get rid of. Uh, yeah, doesn't doesn't get rid of anything. Doesn't get rid of Ascanta or Teferi. Um, I don't know. Maybe two Lyra, two Tristani. Rhythm, Rhythm of the Wild makes Lyra better, for sure. I'll just go two and two. Yeah, they could have Thief. I don't expect them to have Eldest Reborn. So I don't think we need Knight for that. Knight, you know, of course, can destroy Ascanta, which would be nice. Um, we have a decent amount of Flyers, though, for Thief of Sanity. I'm not super worried about that. I don't like how we, we can't play Squee on turn two. None of the, you know... Our green man is not a shock land, unfortunately. So we don't get turn two squee. Oh, they didn't take squee. Do not want any more lands. I hope they don't have Thief of Sanity, though, because we don't have a hand that can deal with it. Yeah, they kept their card on top. Mm -hmm. 
They do not have absorb mana up with only having one blue source. Dang. So that's why I went with rhythm. Um, I've tried Ethereal Absolution in a few decks, and haven't haven't just loved it. Um, usually pretty disappointed with it because of how much mana it costs. Powerful squee. Four one squee. They just have to, you know, have to be able to beat squee. They just have to, um, you know, they have to have not just only removal. You know, they just have to have threats. You know, they just have to have like Teferi and other things and just drawing. Like they can draw enough cards a turn that it doesn't matter. But they just. Like them having as as Kanta now is a problem, but like if they just sat there with just only removal spells, we can fight through that. So, I guess how do they beat Squee? Uh, this is how, point. as Kanta and Teferi, let's beat Squee. If I just attack Teferi, it's just kind of too slow. We need to move quickly. My favorite dinner to cook is um, pork chops and black beans and and mashed potatoes or corn. Usually corn, but certainly the the uh, pork chops and black beans. Keep up the pace. Yeah, I like cooking. I don't. I don't cook a whole lot though. Making a token here be because our opponent all. has a Teferi at seven. I need to start attacking it. You know what? I'm not done yet. I don't think between Ascanta and Teferi though, I don't think we can win this. Alright, going to game three. I don't really have very much for this this matchup. Kind of have nothing. 
I'm putting that Tristani in instead of the Lyra. Mortify on Rhythm of the Wild, you know, just definitely makes Rhythm of the Wild's value decrease quite a bit. No green mana. This is basically the exact same hand we had last time. Last time we had Land War Elf, Squee, Vivian, and they just thought erasured away the Vivian. Thanks, Creamy Canuck. Oh yeah, yeah, Esper is really good against creature decks with a, a lot of expensive like expensive creatures. I mean that's you know, that's a control deck. It's just that's just how it is. Well that game was horrible. We had a couple games like that, keeping two landers with our twenty six land deck and just never drawing a third land. That happened multiple times. We we even had a scry there, we scryed something to the bottom. So I ended up 2-2 two -two with Nia Legends. Um, probably need something better in our sideboard than uh, Rhythm of the Wild for the Esper Control matchup. Because of Mortify. I just don't know what that is. I don't know what card in these colors is really good against Esper Control. But I'm not too impressed with Rhythm of the Wild. Like, Carnage Tyrant is just really expensive and, you know, the Kai's Wrath it away. Um, don't know what that card is. Now, I mean, we saw like that second game, Banefire would have never done anything, never had enough mana against Thought Erasure. It's not, it's not there. Cinder Vines is just this, the same thing. They can just kill it with Mortify, or Cinder Vines is just Cinder Vines is a worse Rhythm of the Wild. They could get to ignore it pretty easily. Um, Vine Mare is pretty interesting. That one's cheaper, cheaper than Carnage Tyrant. Treasure Map would have been better. Treasure Map may be the thing because we're taking out Urza's Ruinous Blast. Maybe it's just Spyglass. Maybe it's just Spyglass for Teferi. Yeah, I like Spyglass. You can also we can also name Ascanta or Teferi. Either one. No, I mean we have we have plenty of planeswalkers. We don't want the Mortal Sun. I think it's Spyglass. Because Spyglass does not die to Mortify. So having an artifact is better. Yeah. Yep. That's that needs to be yep, that's the rhythm of the wild slot, is spyglass. I like it. Alright, so that's that's a change to make for next time with the deck. Our our Esper control matchup isn't that that bad. You know, like we just didn't have the big thing is is the planeswalkers. We we want to have the planeswalkers in uh after you know uh and we had a planeswalker on the battlefield game one, but not games two or three. You know, we're hoping to like play creatures. They they tap out for Kaya's Wrath, and when they tap out for Kaya's Wrath, we resolve a Planeswalker. That's what we're hoping to do. Uh, Kamal's Juridic Vow also, if this spell resolves, is awesome because uh, of how many like different permanents you can put on the battlefield and everything. So this card is really great in that matchup too. But yeah, I like Spyglass. Okay, cool. So that's Nia Legends. Um, and, uh, yeah, there we go. So if you're watching this later on on YouTube, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. And thanks for watching. I'll see you for the next video.